uh, YouTube. Today I'll give you a quick how-to on driving a wheel loader. Um, so basically, assuming your machine's off and you've just started it, you'll, uh, your park brake will be on. Uh, so you're going to want to switch that off. Now your machine will still be in neutral, so wheel loaders they generally have two ways on uh, controlling your forward and reverse. The first uh, option is on your stalk, so if you push your stalk forwards, you'll start moving forwards, pull it back central, you'll be central, uh, neutral, pull it back, you're moving back. Now also on your stalk you've got your speed, if you can see that. Uh, you've got some numbers, so that's your gears. Obviously, the higher the number, the faster you go, and the higher the gear. Now, the other way on moving here, which is probably more simple, uh, you've got to flick a switch. This is how it looks in a case. Um, what's going on here? Yeah, so, flick your switch, light will come on. Now, so on your lever that controls your bucket, you'll have a little switch, which now, if you click that forwards, you're moving forwards, flick it central, you're in neutral, flick it back, you're moving back. Uh, now, it is like a car, so you do have a pedal for your accelerator, and you also have a brake, uh, which, yeah, obviously, it's your brake. Now, your uh, joystick is your boom and bucket, just like a posi track. Uh, if you pull it back, it'll raise your boom. If you push it forwards, it'll lower your boom, curl it in, curl your bucket in. Curl it out, curl your bucket out. Uh, yeah, that's the basics to driving a loader. There's other switches and gadgets, but really, until you jump in one and you get the feel for it, um, probably not too important. So, thanks for watching.